truly saved, who has a, a real faith, that faith will never pass away. So it's actually this teaching that God will complete the work that he started that can assure us that anybody who walks away from the faith fully and finally was not somebody who was originally saved because God never fails in completing the work, just like he never fails in getting somebody saved that he goes after, right? So it also doesn't mean that you don't have to be obedient. There are lots of teachings all throughout the New Testament, all throughout all of scripture that call us to obedience. Our obedience won't save us, but we're called to obedience as people who are saved. It is, it is a necessary fruit of a real faith that that faith bears fruit. Um, no real faith doesn't bear fruit. James tells us that. First John talks about how we make sure of our salvation. And, and how do we do that? By examining ourselves, by looking at the fruit in our lives. There are calls all throughout scripture to examine yourself. They're kind of like check yourself statements. Are you really in the faith? Do you really love God? Do you really repent of your sins? And if we go to that examination and we're looking at, do we love God? Have we repented of our sins? And the answer is no, then repent and believe. And God says that if you are repenting and believing, that that means that you've been given a new heart and then go and bear fruit. If you look at yourself and you say, yes, I do love God. Yes, I do repent of my sins, but I don't see a lot of fruit. Then examining yourself is a call for you to then go live out your faith. Grow in Christ, grow in obedience, be disciplined. And if you look at yourself and you say, yes, I have repentance. Yes, I love God. Yes, I do see some fruit, even if it's not like I'm the most abundant tree in the orchard, then look to God's promises. Like this one in Philippians and be encouraged that anything that God begins, he will finish. If you truly desire salvation, then he is at work within you and there's no way that you can be taken out of his hand. That's mysterious, but it's good. Look at John chapter 10. And 